Hi, welcome to another how-to by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're still in lockdown, so hopefully you guys get to view this. It's going to be all about how to load a gun. I've seen so many variations over the years, and uh, I'm going to show you what we recommend. I'm going to use just a standard, simple, single band rubber, non-rail gun, just very simple, and I'm going to teach you this technique. First off, it's a short gun, just to make the demo easier, and a light but slightly longer than normal band. All I'm showing you here is a technique in how to load a gun, in my opinion, the best possible way. They're obviously double band guns. We'll put up a link to show you uh, where to find that shoot. We've already done that shoot, and that was more about showing you how to separate the bands so they don't overlap each other. I'm going to stand a bit further back now to show you what we think happens. Well, we know what happens with novices. Generally, they realize the band powers the spear. We need to get that band down there. They tend to grab it overhand and they start to pull. The problem with that, it's very hard to get it the rest of the way. On a short gun, not too difficult, but on a long gun where the bands are a long way away, they set the gun up and they try and stretch and they cannot get past this point with any ease. So we found the best is to stand side on with the gun, grab the band overhand, put the mechanism to the middle of the chest. You, on a longer band, you will push it forward to get it into that position, keeping the other hand straight. You now rotate into it and grab the other side. Quite simple. The reason we don't recommend using underhand is if you have a look at how you grab the band. If you're trying to stretch that with the underhand, your zone here does not stretch. Your thumb and forefinger holds it very tight. And as you're pulling on it, you're only stretching that zone and not the zone at the back. By grabbing it overhand, your grip is right on the wishbone bead, allowing maximum rubber to stretch. So I'll demo that again. Grab the band, thumb and forefinger on a wishbone. Hold the gun in position. Don't use your full hand on the grip. If you do that, when you get it in position, your thumb is now trapped behind and you're going to pull your wetsuit around. The best is to use your hand high up the moment you get it in position, take your thumb out the way and use your hand side on to stop it slipping whilst you rotate. Once you've rotated, you can now pull on the band to grab the other side and then pull the rest of the way. On a long gun, as I explained before, your band and mechanism are going to be much further apart. So the technique is to hold the band drive the gun forward as far as necessary. You've semi-stretched the band, then rotate, then grab overhand. If you have a problem reaching the band on the other side, grab your wrist, pre-tension it, then grab the other band whilst you're holding position. Also, another trick, always keep your wrist rotated. By rotating it like this, you're holding the wish bone off the spear. If your spear is rough with old corrosion or whatever, by dragging it down the spear, you're going to damage the line. It's best to just give it a slight cock, rotate it, that holds it off position, and now pull. When pulling on the band, what we're trying to simulate is a pull-up. This is the better muscles to use rather than your arms. You're not really tensioning on your arm, you're actually using your shoulder muscles. So, partially down, stretch out, pull. What I think the emphasis should be is on trying to simulate the muscles you would use when you're doing a pull-up. Imagine a bar above your head. When you're pulling up, you're using your chest muscles more than your arm muscles. And this is exactly the same muscles you should be using when loaded. So, when you're that way around, you have the bands, 
you're pulling back on it using your shoulder muscles. This is very similar to archery. If you have a bow and arrow, a light easy one to, to use, you would hold the bow out, you would draw on the drawstring. Whereas a much stronger one, especially the compound bows, the tendency is to hold both semi-cocked and use your shoulder muscles to pull out. This is very similar to what we're doing when loading the spear gun. Also, you see the angle. Because of the shape of the handle, it's best to have it quite high up. Obviously, you've pre-stretched. So your simulated pull is from up and downwards. This is what I'm trying to explain in terms of pulling on a bar. It's more the shoulder muscles than the arm muscles. Just another little trick I like to show people. If you battle to get the band that last little bit, sometimes that can be the most difficult and you just can't do it. A trick there is to use your thumbs. Once you've tensioned it to as far as you can, your thumbs are now free and you can walk it back to that last little bit. I'll demo that closer. Pull the band back, release your thumbs, use the handle to walk it back. These side screw mounds are actually quite nice grips for the thumb. This is also a good technique when loading reverse trigger mechanisms where your spear notch is much further back. Another problem to consider with spear guns is muzzle wraps. This is primarily caused with softer lines, Dyneema and uh, any other woven cords. They're much slacker. Whilst the spear is driving down the barrel, it throws a loop over your rubber and jams up the works. And this is commonly known as a muzzle wrap. That's primary because this top line, the one from the back of the spear, is entrapped between the bands. So a trick I like to use when loading, once loaded, I don't let go, but I hook my finger on the line and pull it out to one side. As you can see now, that line is to the one side. It's preferable to bring it to the left side if you've wrapped left around the muzzle, or to the right side if you right side to the muzzle. That way the line will bow out to the side and not lasso your band as it's going down the barrel. So in conclusion, this is the technique I like to teach new guys and uh, I found it's always worked best for me and uh, many of the guys who've been battling over the years find this to be the most useful method. If you need to train, if you're young and uh, not that strong and you want a stronger gun, the best is to do a little bit of pull-ups Try and simulate the pull-up muscles you're using, especially in the shoulders, and this will enhance your ability to load a more powerful gun. Obviously, too powerful is not an advantage. It makes the shaft whip and becomes inaccurate. So generally, we set our guns up uh, fairly strong, as most of you will know, especially beginners. Quite difficult to load unless you know the technique. I hope this helps. And those of you that haven't subscribed, please do so and stay safe.